Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hello, my name is Cherish and I make videos about travel, fashion, beauty, and life here in Japan. So for today's video, I'll be taking you to Harajuku at Takeshita Street and we are going to be window shopping. I also want to check out some food stalls that they have there like the big cotton candy and some big candy stores. So yeah, I'm so excited and let's go! Going to Harajuku from my place is really easy. Here we are at Ebisu Station and for today, we are taking the Yamanote Line to Harajuku Station. It's about 20 minutes or less and you can trust that the Japanese trains are always on time. Once you reach Harajuku Station, just take the Takeshita exit and it will lead you straight to our destination. This street pre-COVID used to be so packed and it's quite sad to see how quiet it is now. Well, anyway, just a few more steps and we are here. Hi guys, so we're now here at Takeshita Street and let's go explore the stores and some cute stuff. Let's go! Oh, look at these! <laughs> let's go to Paris Kids. Paris Kids is one of the most popular stores here in Takeshita Street. They sell inexpensive yet unique accessories mostly catered to the younger generation. Whoa, look at these big scrunchies. Where else would you find a sushi earring but here? These ones are 330 yen. You can find character earrings, rhinestones, and other cute stuff in here for less than 500 yen. By the way guys, so sorry for doing voiceovers, but almost all the shops here play loud music and I don't want to get copyrighted. Hope you understand. Oh my gosh, remember these? These were so popular back in the day. I remember feeling so cool wearing them. Apart from jewelry, they also have a lot of bag charms and lots of colorful clips to choose from. We have also visited this store and they sell Japanese makeup, skincare, accessories, and random knickknacks. They actually have a lot of nice stuff I wish I could show you but I got told off for filming. So here are some of the items I was able to film before getting caught. I also wanted to go to this dog cafe, but given the current COVID situation, I don't think that's a good idea. Anyway, just across the dog cafe, you will see this awesome crepe store or crepe store, however you call it, and they have lots of flavors to choose from. If you are into Harajuku fashion, then this is the best place to shop for your next outfit. For those who aren't familiar with what Harajuku fashion is, well, Basically, they dress up like this, and these chunky shoes are a must. I also see a lot of Japanese girls wear these chunky shoes even when they're wearing normal outfits. This is not my style though, so I think I'm gonna pass. If you also like some cutesy and colorful outfits, then this store sells a lot of those. Just FYI, the sizing here in Japan is very small. Now, this next shop is my favorite among all the stores I've visited here in Harajuku. It's on the second floor so make sure to check out the sign so you won't miss it. In here, they sell vintage clothes and toys and it just brought back so many childhood memories. Look at all the vintage Barbies that they have. If you are a collector, this is going to be heaven for you. And to keep up with the old school vibe, they play 90s and early 2000s music. I can't believe they have My Little Pony and Furbies here, and they have lots of them! Also, these denim overalls? What? Who remembers wearing them as a kid? They also have some cool denim jackets with Disney character prints, and they are 5,499 yen. Now, let's do some try-on, shall we? Look. 
look at this. How I wish my bedroom looked like this growing up. And oh my god, look, Polly Pockets. I even found the exact same one I had growing up. And when you press the chimney, the lights turn on. Again, if you are born in the 90s, these are a must-have toy. And this one is one of my favorite candies growing up. Shout out to my friend Daisy. We snack on these so, so much. It's really hard to find them now actually. I asked if these were on sale but unfortunately they are only for display and are out of date. You'll also find a lot of random shops here like this one. They sell clothes, stationery, accessories, home stuff, and much much more. I also saw a couple of fortune tellers. I am not sure if they can speak English though so I didn't bother to go in. Anyway. Time for lunch and we went to this Mexican restaurant that was highly recommended by a friend of mine. Just FYI, their deep fried jalapenos, fajitas, spicy chicken wings, and guacamole are so, so good. Okay, back to window shopping. When you enter this building, you'll find several Japanese clothing stores, a candy shop, lots of skincare and makeup stands, and some random toy stores as well. I also found this scary looking eyeball jelly candy. I've never seen something like this before and now that the Halloween season is coming, these would be perfect. Time to eat some sweets. If you are looking to try those popular huge cotton candies, then there are actually two places that you can get them. Here and here. You can also get some other desserts like chocolate ice cream that looks like poop, soda in a baby bottle, and if I wasn't pregnant, I would have tried everything for you guys to see, but let's not be greedy and just get one thing. So here it is, you guys. I was so surprised because this is actually the medium size but it's already so huge. There's also a bigger option if you want that. This one was 650 yen and it's worth every penny. Here's the map of Takeshita Street and honestly, you can spend the whole day just walking around and window shopping. I wish I can show you guys every shop but honestly, I'm already too tired at this point. This is another popular store here in Takeshita Street called Burlesque. They sell clothes and accessories that are more of a gothic yet still very cutesy outfits. Also, they do a lot of sales during transitional period. And this right here is my favorite candy store. Candy heaven! Of course, we are not leaving without picking out some of my favorite sweets. Our Harajuku window shopping wouldn't be complete without a visit to WeGo. This store is very popular among high school and college students because they sell a lot of trendy, affordable clothes, shoes, and accessories. We are heading towards the end of Takeshita Street, but I just wanted to show you one more place to visit, which is this ice cream shop right here. If you are into cute character stuff, then you must try their ice creams. Since I already got my sugar fix for today, here's a throwback picture of me trying out their ice cream. It is such an Instagram-worthy dessert, don't you think? Hi guys, so that's the end of the tour of our window shopping here at Takeshita Street. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And again, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you have some video suggestions that you want me to do, please leave a comment down below. Alright, see you guys again on the next one. Bye!